Hi everyone. Thanks so much for all of the fabulous response I got for last week's uh, YouTube video on the energy update for May. One of the things that we actually uh, covered was to watch out for signs from the universe. Um, universal signs or some people call it signs from spirit, some people call it um, oh many things. But as an intuitive being, which every single human being is, it's just that some of us have developed it more than others, we often get help from the universe. Some people call it guides, some people call it spirits, some people are looking at the animal kingdom to do it, but it's actually everywhere that you get signs along the way to help you in any of your decisions that you're making. So I've had quite a lot of people come back to me to say, like what, what sort of signs? So um, it can be many different things. Maybe it's numbers. I'm a big lover of numerology. And Kyle Gray has a fabulous little book out uh, called Angel Numbers, which talks about, you know, if you are seeing one, one, or 4, 4, or 33, or the number 5, 7, 8, or 5, 8, 7, or whatever it happens to be, whatever the combination is, and you start to see it, you know, you're waking up at the same time, you look at your watch and it's the same time. You are in the middle of a, well, not at the moment because we're all on lockdown, but you are in the middle of somewhere and you see this number everywhere you go. You're going to carry on seeing that number until you look it up about what the, you can Google what's the spiritual meaning of 587. Um, or what is the numerology meaning of that, whichever it fits your mojo and belief structure, which is really important to honour. And you have a look at it and it will tell you something about what's happening in your life right now. So these signs aren't a waste of time. They're not to be annoyed at, they'll get frustrated by. They'll keep coming because they want to actually help you in some way. You've probably asked for something and the universe is trying to get you the answer. And the way to do that is to pay attention to repetitive signs. So th this, that's, a, that's a real basic example of what a repetitive sign might be. It's not only just to look it up, but it's to act on it. Once you've actually acted on it, then it will go away. And then other signs will come in their place to actually assist you in your communication with your own heart and your divine purpose and plan that you signed up with as a soul before you incarnated in this body at this time. So the universe has never stopped helping you. It's just that we're relearning and remembering how to actually pick up the language. <laughs> so another sign that people really love is little white feathers. You know, it's a, it's a universal belief that little white feathers are a sign that angels are around, your loved ones are around. So, I'm not talking about the times when, you know, your whole sofa is made of feathers. So when you plump up your pillow, <laughs> you've got a leak in your, in your cushion and it's coming out everywhere. Or you decide to have a pillow fight and you're full of feather and down, it goes everywhere. You know, we have to apply a little bit of common sense, <laughs> which is not that common, is it really, uh, to some of these signs. So. Um, yeah, so if you've got lots of uh, feathers around anyway, um, in those instances, what we found is Spirit will find a way of popping one on your purse <laughs> or in your car that you know you couldn't have actually had one there as a way to prove to you that this actual help and assistance is actually very, very real. Um, another way is to check in with your body. Your body never lies. It's always a way of us, uh, it's a brilliant filter of filtering out all of the rubbish and the confusion and the chaos and bringing you the truth of the matter. The body always tells you the truth. So, you know when you get like, do you ever get one of those feelings, you know, those fuzzy feelings or where the hairs on the back of your neck or your arms stand up and you go all goose bumpy? It's like when those signs of the body come up, it's because something quite important has just occurred. 
So we all know what that means. It's like, um, you know, you're going along with your daily whatever and you see something or you hear something and everything in you stands to attention. All those hairs stand up and it's like, whoa, I'm having a real goosey moment. Those goosey moments are basically your body going, please pay attention to this or please pay attention to this. <laughs> Let's not have to go through this again and again and again. And it's like, try and make some sense of what that message is. And then act on it. This is the way of intuitive development. You ask, you receive, and you act on it. And it might be, you know, you're going along, you're driving along maybe if you're a driver and you turn on the radio and particular words of a song just come to you and they stay with you over and over. Maybe a song comes into your head. You know what that's like, first thing in the morning and it just won't go. Well, if it just won't go for half an hour, an hour, that could be quite normal for you. But we're looking for the things that are not normal for you. So that song stays in your head for a week and you're getting driven a bit mad by it. Well, go look up the lyrics to the whole of it and see which ones give you that goosey bump feeling. And then find out within yourself, well, how do I act on that? It's in answer to something that you've asked for. You make many wishes during your lifetime. You make many times when you go, I wish I could have this. I wish it would be this way. I want this. I want that. How do I do that? Please help. Prayers. So many different ways of asking the universe. The universe is answering us all the time. It's just that we completely ignore it. So um, this is a way of really developing your intuitive practice. It's a way of living um, the sensitive, healthy life. Because when you're sensitive and you can actually pick up a lot of intuitive language, it's there to do something with. Yes, we can be entertained by it. Yes, we can really just enjoy it for what it is. Yes, we can have a laugh about it. I do all of those things, hands off. <laughs> but then there's a time where you need to act on it because it's what you've wished into place. So signs are really answers to your own heart's desires. So they're really worthy of your attention and they're really worthy of you watching and picking up from it. It might be that you get a particular guidance. I was working with Archangel Michael for quite a long time and I used to see like a, a purple haze when he was around or when I felt that was my reality of when he was around. I know his colours are blue and golds and things, but you know, that, that was my reality at the time. And I remember driving home from Sheffield once over to Mid Wales. Um, one of my children was at university there and I was driving home and I was going through um, over the hilltops mountain ranges and then I was going through a particular town that I knew really well and I knew when I got to the roundabout I needed to bear off on a sort of two o'clock position go up the hill turn right and I was on my way home and this this hazy um sort of lilac-y purpley color came in I went oh hello Michael <laughs> and lit up all the cat's eyes in the front of me and said follow this and I was like, right. <laughs> so what do I do? Do I ignore that sign? Do I follow it? Well, anybody that knows me knows I really follow all of these things these days. Otherwise, I come a right cropper and it really isn't a pretty picture at all. So I followed it and it, 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 it took me, turn left, and then it was a right and it left. And I ended up in a dead end in the middle of an estate somewhere. And I was like typical human response. Well, thanks very much for that. That was, that was fantastic. That was an adventure. I'm not sure what this is about. I don't understand this. I had a sign. I followed it. Don't really understand it, but I'm going to head back now to the main road <laughs> and get myself home. Only to find when I was on my, on the main road that there'd been a huge accident. And I wonder, it was obviously not my time to be in that accident. 
So, you know, that's my belief structure. I believe I was saved from being in that accident because I wasn't meant to be in that accident, didn't have any learning from that particular one. And it was just a delay for me. Lucky me. So, um, you know, these signs can be life-saving. They can be life-enhancing. They can be just fun and exploratory and just, just adds a bit of zest to life and a bit of extra. Um, and I don't know where I'd be without that sixth sense and following the signs that I'm given on a regular basis. So do keep asking your questions. Do keep asking the universe for help. Understand you will be answered. And in many cases, it's from the signs. So listen to the words that are being said around you or on songs or whatever it happens to be. Open a book occasionally. Do an open book to get some inspiration. Maybe there's some signs within that. Ask your question. Hold the book and open it and see what the answer is. Uh, we've done a video on open book. Um, you might want to look up if you fancy that one and your eyes just fall onto a particular sentence and it's the answer to what it is that you've been inquiring about. So the answers and the support are always there. So keep asking the questions, look out for those answers and then have a lot of fun being creative on how you act upon it. Lots of love everybody. Good luck with that one. Bye for now. Yeah.